Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, we're going to look at keyboards for the Raspberry Pi and Android devices. So let's get started. All right, now there are three keyboards in front of you. Two of those keyboards, the top two, are wireless keyboards, and the bottom keyboard is a Bluetooth keyboard. So be very careful when you're buying one, whether it's wireless or Bluetooth. The big difference between the two is that these top ones have wireless receivers, and that's a little tiny dongle that plugs in to a USB port. The bottom keyboard does not. So for Raspberry Pi 3 that has built-in Bluetooth, you can technically use the Bluetooth keyboard. However, it is a lot more difficult to set up than these two keyboards here. These two keyboards, you simply plug in the wireless receiver, turn on the keyboard, and you're off to the races. It's plug and play, easy, ready to go. If you have a cell phone or a tablet that you want to pair with a keyboard, these two keyboards here are not recommended because you do not have a USB port on your phone in order to plug the keyboard in. It is far easier just to turn the Bluetooth connection on and pair it to a keyboard here. So for Android devices, I highly recommend the Bluetooth keyboard. For Raspberry Pi devices, I recommend a wireless keyboard. Now this is a Logitech and this is a Re. The big difference between the two is the form factor. As you can see here, there is a standard TV remote. If you are using a Raspberry Pi in front of a TV as a home theater PC to run Kodi, then I'd recommend the Re keyboard as it's very small, it's compact. This little black area here functions as a mouse. There are two versions of the Re, a regular version and a backlit version. They look identical. This is the regular version. The difference between this one and the backlit version is about $4. And on the backlit version, the, there is a glowiness. It's a little glowy LED behind the keys. So whichever one you prefer, they perform the exact same. Honestly, it's maybe just a matter of looks, maybe a slight matter of functionality if you want to easily find the keyboard if you've left it on and placed it somewhere. Um, but besides that, if it's a home theater PC, I recommend the Re keyboard. If you're using your Raspberry Pi for other things, you can actually just use a standard wired keyboard, or you can use something like this, which is the Logitech. I believe it is a, yep, sorry, K400R. So this keyboard here is a little more bulky. The mouse is here, you can click here. This is definitely for someone who needs the larger keys for typing, as the keys on the Re are fairly small and compact, or doesn't mind the form factor. The other, two, the other difference actually between these two keyboards is this keyboard here, if I can get this up, contains two AA batteries. Whereas the Re keyboard contains a lithium ion battery. And it's built in, well you can take it out if you'd like. And to charge this battery, you can charge via mini USB, which is the little connection right here on the front. So to recap, if you have a Raspberry Pi, you can use any of these keyboards, but I would definitely recommend just the wireless keyboards with the receiver. And if you have an Android device, as in a phone or a tablet, and would like to use a keyboard, then I highly recommend a Bluetooth keyboard and not a wireless keyboard. 
That's all I've got for today. Thank you. Take care, everyone.